Hey Chiefs Kingdom, we got a trade mailbag coming up in just a few moments, but first the hard-hitting question of the day, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Halloween is here, it's weird in 2020, I hope you're finding a way to trick-or-treat safely with your kids, or if you're young enough to do that, I hope you're able to do so. My favorite, I got two, love the mini M&Ms and Reese's Pieces, they just hit different. I like the Reese's Cups, but the Reese's Pieces, they go hard in the paint. Let me know what is your favorite Halloween candy. And with that being said, we'll jump into today's trade mailbag. Dustin Law is first up here. Appreciate everybody submitting their trades over the past couple of days. We'll jump on in. Miles Jack to the Chiefs for a 2021 third and a 2021 fifth round pick. Miles Jack is a fantastic football player, and the Jags are clearly embracing the tank. They are in a fire sale. However, the problem here is Miles Jack is one of the only, maybe the only players on the Jags roster where, sure, they'll take offers on him, but they're not going to trade him just to trade him. They're going to want proper value and quite frankly I think for especially with the team team like the Chiefs that's going to be drafting late in the first round hopefully with the 32nd pick for the second straight year it's going to cost a first round pick the Jags are not going to take a third and a fifth for Miles Jack at least they would be stupid to I don't think that's enough maybe a second and a third if you want to avoid a first but a third and a fifth that's not in the ballpark. Now, obviously, the Chiefs linebacking unit has eh, been shaky this year. I like what I saw from Willie Gay this past game. I think he'll start playing a lot more. Hitchens and Wilson, solid locker room guys, good leaders. Not great football players at this point. They have some value, but they're certainly not great, especially in coverage. Miles Jack is really good. He's good against the run. He's good in coverage. He's also got a couple of pass breakups this year. He's got the sack. He does a little bit of everything. That's why they call him the jack of all trades down there in Jacksonville. Would I love to get Miles Jack? Yes. Will I trade a first-round pick for him? I don't think so, and I think that's what it's going to cost to get Miles Jack. So I'll let you guys answer the question. Would you trade a first-round pick for Miles Jack? Type Y for yes. Type N for for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Get subscribed to the Chiefs Report. I've been told we have to hit 9,000 subs before kickoff against the Jets on Sunday. Otherwise, this channel could be in jeopardy. We're only 200 away. Come on, guys. We'll get to 9,000, certainly, won't we? Get subscribed. We got videos going out almost every single day. The more we continue to grow, we can plug out more videos for you guys on the Chiefs. Do more mailbags like this here on the Chiefs Report. Subscribe right now. Let's get to 9K before kickoff on Sunday. Marlo Taylor's next up here. Marshawn Lattimore to the Chiefs for Charvarius Ward and a second round pick. I think the value here is actually appropriate. You throw in Ward, who's still a starting caliber corner, and a second for Lattimore. The problem is, why would the Saints do it? The Saints are trying to win in 2020, and downgrading from Lattimore to Ward uh, just to get a second-round pick doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, if the Saints were like 3-3, three 2-4, and, three, two and four, uh, you know, kind of behind the eight ball early on in the season, I could see it, but at 4-2, and two, they're still very much alive and uh, contending in the NFC. I don't think it makes a ton of sense. I know you guys have been frustrated with our various Ward's play. He certainly hasn't played great since fracturing the hand, but I thought he played a little better last week. I think he'll continue to get better and better, and hey, Legereus Sneed, hopefully he comes back very, very soon because he was playing at a very high level. Grade Charvarius Ward's play for me so far this season. What would you give him? A, B, C, D, or F. You can add pluses and minuses. I'd probably give him like a C flat. He's been passable. He's been an okay number two corner on the outside. He hasn't been the reason this team, uh, uh, you know, has struggled uh, on occasion defensively, but uh, he certainly hasn't played great this year. Let me know in the comments. Maximo0101 is up next here. He wants Stefan Gilmore for a second round pick. I want to laugh this off, but then you see Albert Breer, who's got really good connections in the NFL, saying Patriots won't get a first round pick for him. So, look, if you can get Gilmore for a second, yeah, the money's tricky, but you know what? Uh, Brett Veach has proven you can work around the salary cap. I would have some interest for a second round pick, even though I don't think corner is a major need. I still think the Patriots could get a first for Gilmore, despite what Breer is reporting. 
but I'm intrigued. If you could get him for a second, I would definitely have interest. This is one of the premier cornerbacks in the National Football League, only 30 years old, still got a lot left in the tank. I, it's worth a call, but I don't think you're going to get him for a first or for a second, especially since you're drafting late in the second round. So pick a corner for me. We've talked about both these guys, number one corners. I would take Stephon Gilmore, so I would type my SG. You can type ML as well. Factor in trade value. That's why I'm throwing this up there. I think we all think Gilmore's the better corner, but you would trade less for Lattimore. So who would you rather trade for, SG for Gilmore or ML for Marshawn Lattimore? I want to remind you guys to get going with Bet. U.S. Our promo deal ends at the end of the month. That promo code is going to be good as long as we're pushing this, but if you want a free jersey for new customers, it's running out. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Use that promo code Chiefs125, and after you do that and place a bet, if you're a new customer, you've already gotten going, this doesn't apply to you, but new customers only. Time's ticking. October is almost over. We'll hook you guys up with a free Chiefs jersey. Just got to sign up, deposit, place that bet. If you do that all before November 1st, email us, chiefs at chatsports.com. We'll get you guys hooked up with a brand new Chiefs jersey for free. It's a great deal. Get going with Bet BetUS, and then email us, chiefs at chatsports.com. Chase is next up. Alden Smith to the Chiefs for a 2021 fourth-round pick. This is intriguing because Alden Smith has certainly been one of the wild stories in the NFL this year, certainly the best story the Cowboys have had uh, this year. Four sacks, right? Like, he's been pretty productive. Uh, the last month, he hasn't done as much. A lot of that was over the first few weeks of the season. But I do think, and we talked about this on our trade targets video, that the Chiefs could get bring in a secondary type of pass rusher, like a number three type of pass rusher, which is what I think – Alden Smith would be. Chris Jones is leading the way with sacks. Frank Clark, Taco Charlton. After that, no one else has more than one. So I would have interest in a guy like Alden Smith. I think a fourth is a little rich. Remember, this guy hasn't played in five years. Like, he's got some off-field red flags. So a fourth for that? No. Fifth? I'd probably do it. Should the Chiefs trade for a pass rusher? Type one for yes, type two for no. For the right value, I say yes, because Alex Okafor cannot stay healthy. I would like to bring someone in here who could come in on third downs and help get after the quarterback. Alden Smith could do that. Just don't want to trade a fourth for him, but I still am going to type my one for yes, because they could use another pass rusher. All right, so Ian didn't send in a specific trade, but I like this idea for going to get Tack McKinley. Uh, and yes, he is available because he plays for the Atlanta Falcons, and basically everyone is available. Also talked about Alex Mack as well. Go check out our trade targets video. He was on that, so I won't dive super deep into him here. I'd rather focus on McKinley. I think this is a guy that you could buy low on because he's been a little bit banged up this year, and he's a rental, and get some decent production, right? Like seven quarterback hits this year, hasn't always gotten home, just has the one set but he's getting consistent pressure, which is what I like. I think if you threw a fifth to Atlanta and got Tat McKinley, sign me up, throw him into this rotation on this defensive line, and let's get after it and make a postseason run. I think it would be a lot of fun. I think it makes some sense. Both these guys you, uh, you guys have asked about make a lot of sense, but uh, I'll let you choose. Alden Smith has been the better player this year. Tat McKinley is probably the safer player. So pick a defensive end. Type AS for Alden Smith, TM for Tap McKinley. Pretend everything is equal, trade value. AS or TM. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Go ahead and pick a pass rusher. Thanks to everybody for watching the Chiefs Report as always. If you missed our trade targets video, watch it right here. I talked about five guys I think the Chiefs could trade for this before the trade deadline. Plus, get subscribed to the Chiefs Report. Let's get to 9,000 subs. Hit this button right here. Appreciate you guys watching, and go Chiefs.